Needing positivity all around you Many life struggles trying to hold you down When your goal is being great to push through dark clouds And try to tear you down Scorpio <laughs> What's popping? What's up water babies? Did you miss me? So I so I so I so I heard I said I I said I said I said I said I said it's a, I, I said I heard it's a scorpion's birthday Bitch Happy birthday with your fine ass Did you hear me? Happy birthday with your fine ass, Scorpio. Are y'all showing the fuck out? Y'all out here on y'all sexy, sensual, beautiful, creative, abundant ass, Oshun ass energy. Cause I'm, yes, yes, y'all is Oshun babies, huh? Had to put some respect on them in the meditative session. <laughs> First and foremost, before we get it crunk the fuck up. Okay, let me go and get to my intro. Because y'all know I'm going to sing happy birthday to y'all. Because y'all is my baby. I already had to come to y'all with the damn baby is yours. I'm yours. If you want it tonight, I'm giving that red light special for free all through the night. <laughs> so y'all know we had to come and show the hell out for my score to be open. Which y'all love feisty asses. Hey, brothers and sisters. Hello, fellow Martians. How you doing? All right. Hey, boy, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. You guys, I cuss, all right? So if cussing don't work for you, get the hell up out of here now. This is my shit, all right? Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, you guys, the comments, the donations, the emails. You guys showed out when it comes to the love. Thank you for loving on me, you guys. These are crazy times and you guys are very consistent in loving on me. So thank you from the most humblest space ever. Gang, gang. All right. Also, if you need a personal reading, that information will be found within the description box below, okay? There may be a slight delay on the personal readings as I am taking a little bit of time just to kind of go under construct or under reconstruction and really work on me. Of course, you know, if I ain't good, I ain't good for y'all and I'll bring my shit to YouTube, all right? We're working, we're shifting some things and twisting some damn things up, rewriting the goddamn script and we be back after these motherfuckers scheduled damn commercial breaks, okay? So, with that said, just be patient with me, guys. It's just me, all right? Also, if you have not done so already, go follow my Instagram at mocha underscore love underscore tero. What the hell you doing? It's a weekly tea over there. Now, okay? Also, <laughs> okay? I'm trying to get out my also's out the way. If you're new to the family, you guys, <laughs> hey, boo, we're a little dysfunctional over here. Welcome to the family, okay? New subscribers, we're a little, we're a little dysfunctional, all right? But, you guys, we want big happy family over here. Positive vibes only. We don't fight and fuss over here. We leave that shit on other people's channel over here. We love. We enlighten. We evolve. Sometimes, we, most times, we laugh. Sometimes, we cry. We're one big happy family. And we don't do that shit, all right? So, you guys, thank you so much for just, again, just loving on me. You guys, I can't stress that enough. Y'all have been so consistent in that. And just as much as you love on me, thank you for letting me love on you back. All right? So this message ain't for, it's not a personal reading. Get your ass win, all right? Don't be in the comments cutting the fuck up because I bite back, all right? It ain't really y'all. It's y'all fucking cross. Why cross watchers be so mad? They be mad at y'all comments. Scorpio, what y'all be doing to people? They be mad. It's all right. As long as they mad, they paying attention. So we, you know, they running that network up. We all right. Around this motherfucker, we gonna be all right. All right, that's not your problem, nor mine. So we gonna we we agree to this, agree to agree on that shit. Also, Scorpio, this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, North Node, as well as Mars in Scorpio for the month of November. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check in because I'm really ready to tap, tap, tap in. All right, but before I do, happy birthday. To you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear Scorpio, happy birthday to you. Ooh, 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 
ooh, ooh, ooh. Happy birthday, boo. Y'all know I'm extra shit. Y'all extra too. Tap, 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 tap it. Happy birthday. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the intuitive messages for the month of November for Scorpio. You guys, first and foremost, Scorpio, somebody wants to drink your bath water, okay? They know they fucked up. They use me as a tool of vessel, Scorpio, because you got them big, big blocked. Big, big blocked on everything, okay? Some of you all also may catch somebody actually driving by your house. They they scared to get out and say hello, okay? But the big, no talking, just stalking, okay? <laughs> so just, you know, just, just just be watchful, okay? You feel it already? We watchful, okay? Um, Scorpio, I also picked up on the energy also of like harbored resentment. I'm also picking up on you guys going through this space of needing to forgive and also transmute your emotions or those negative emotions that one has been harboring into creative expression when it comes to um, alchemy. I am hearing something about um, the alchemist, okay? I'm also hearing the magician. I literally, in tapping into your energy, there is a lot of esoteric... Um, that's like a forest field is what it felt like. But a lot of esoteric insight for the month of November for my Scorpions. I feel like you guys are really, um, some of you all are starting to um, express yourself when it comes to your beliefs. You're starting not to hold all of your ideas, all of your research, all of that information to yourself. A lot of you all are stepping into your calling when it comes to helping and assisting other people, okay? Some of you all may have a life path number two, three, four, or six, okay? Some of you all I'm also picking up on the life path number eight. Some of you all are geniuses is what I'm hearing. Genius. I channel genius, okay? Um, also, the alchemist. Some of you all also may be getting into some type of like, this could be like botany or something having to do with like healing plants. Um, also, using some type of alchemical practice around plants. I'm hearing ancient knowledge, okay? I'm also picking up on you guys changing your diet. I keep hearing Fantino, uh, Fantasia Barino songs. So some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces. Because I, I heard um, Janae Aiko, um, don't know what I'm capable of. Might fuck around and go crazy on cuz. Might fuck around, have to pay me in blood. Pow. That ain't the way that you want it. Might catch a case in this bitch. Don't let me catch you face to face in this bitch. Trying my hardest not to disrespect you. After what you did, is after what you did, man, what you expected. Motherfucker. Uh. Motherfucker, right? Okay, so someone could be triggering you, okay? This could also be triggering you to go deep in the depths of within your fields and deal with some type of harbor resentment. I am hearing childhood wounds around abandonment, Scorpio, okay? Some of you all, this could be playing out when it comes to some type of, um, like some type of generational cycle, okay? And I am picking up on the need to surrender, not so much control, because you'll understand the blessing and what seems like a loss with within a later time. I am hearing Sagittarius, okay? So this could have to do with the Sagittarius, or this could actually be some type of turnaround or something that you're going to discover within Sagittarius season. But I feel like right now is this space of like being on the being with being with uh, ugh, my fucking words, being on the brink of greatness, and it's like sitting at the edge of your seats, or you have somebody sitting at the edge of their seats waiting on what you're going to do next. I feel like a lot of you guys are making a lot of silence. Solid moves, good shit, Scorpio. Watch your vehicle. Some of you all, if you feel that someone is fucking with your car, I am picking up on that energy as well. I am picking up on the energy of a bitter baby mama. I'm also picking up on some type of like backfiring of a love spell. Okay, so some of you guys, this could also, some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Gemini because there's a lot of duality or dual energy here. This could be a new relationship. This could also be a reconciliation of sorts. I feel like some of you all have, some of y'all feel as if it's me against the world. It's us, oh, I'm sorry, it's us against the world. And for some of you all, you feel as if you're sleeping with the enemy is what I'm hearing, okay? But I feel like some of y'all got some magical ass yoni. You got the magical cookies, honey. Okay, you got that magical, you got the magic stick. <laughs> you know, if you can hit once, you can hit twice, you understand? So, some of you all, someone finds you intoxicating. And instead of this person worried about themselves or worried about what it is that they did and how they contributed to you taking your power back and moving forward, these individuals really rather harbor over the fact or tell themselves that you're the, that they the victim and that you did something wrong. And I feel like for some of you all, you're open to taking accountability when it comes to how you said it, but what you said 
You meant that shit. And I feel like some of you all are actually getting a front row seat to something that you told someone was going to occur. It's occurring now. And this person wants you to be their savior. They want you to thun thun da throw your cape on. And some of you was all, some of y'all like, no, bitch, my cape in the cleanest, honey. I threw that motherfucker away. So, you know, this is not what we're doing. And I feel like this is going to be a season of boundaries, but a season of authenticity in your truths. No matter what the opinions of others are around how your how they accept or how they take your truth it doesn't make it any less than their of of your truth so they just got to sit in the mad ass section in the corner and face the fucking corner with their childish shit deal with it okay so let's jump into it i am picking up on new purchases new homes some of you all i am hearing silent moves some of you guys could also be strategizing on how you're going to leave a situation okay so the messages that i wrote down for you all was i got approvals we got silent moves we got artists we have family intervention allies frenemies investments subconscious revelations taking risks Sudden endings, triggering, scam artists, alchemy, conspiracy, new love, stalking exes, money move, collaboration, voodoo priest, priestesses, medicine woman, purpose, spell work, pregnancy, vegan lifestyle, collaboration, fasting, Facing your fears, past life trauma, harboring resentment, mediocrity, blackmail, trust issues, investments, new car, divination, digging deeper, blueprint of the soul, reunion, reconciliation, completely done, astral stalking, and sex magic. Okay? So Scorpio. 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 Yeah, this is gonna be a hell of a reading, honey, okay? Um, Scorpio, some of you guys also need to look into um juniper berries. This could have to do with your ancestry altar. Some of y'all need to clean your damn ancestry altar. Y'all ancestors want y'all to know some of y'all is being that disrespectful. You got the time to cry over this motherfucker who done showed you they ain't shit five, six, seven, eleven times. And you ain't clean your ancestor altar. They helping you get past that shit. All right. I'm just the messenger. Don't shoot me because I fight back. All right, spirit. Give me a crystal oracle message for my scorpions for the month of November. What crystal would be useful for my scorpions? Summer, I have Venus, North Node, and Mercury. Okay, that flipped right on over. Okay, a Nandalite. Y'all know I don't officially chop and screw these oracle messages because we want to get everything as it is. We want to make sure we actually get the full message, okay? And as I'm a teacher, I'm a student, so we learning together, okay? Ananda Light. The number seven, I am also picking up on esoteric wisdom. I'm also picking up on you guys being able or being being bestowed the being bestowed upon the gift to be able to freely assess gifts of the soul that lie within your akashic records or there's a deep um deep desire to step into the akashic records some of you all i am hearing children of the night children of the night i feel like some of you guys have a strong attachment to anubis okay i'm picking up on your genetics or your gene um your genetic makeup okay some of you all may also be getting sick with eating certain things i'm picking up on the activation or the ascension when it comes ascent the ascension okay this feels like a major ascension, but it feels like ascending into what feels like a vertex or what looks like a portal of sorts. But I feel like this has to do with, again, assessing, assessment, or being able to access hidden gifts, hidden talents that is going to assist you if you can transmute them in exerting them out, like transmute them through exerting them out in a practical way. But I feel like you guys are actually finding power and in stepping into your truth and actually executing your purpose because through your purpose you're going to be able to manifest that abundance that you've been trying to do so i feel like someone also seeing some type of um 
something coming to fruition when it comes to some type of like cosmic intelligence or something that you manifested or wanted to know. I feel like your ancestors or I am hearing spiritual beings that protect you are giving you this access to this information. Okay, children, afterlife children is what I'm also hearing. Okay, Anandalite. Cosmic Consciousness. Anandalite facilitates integration and release releases emotional blockages standing in the way of a spiritual awakening. It reminds us that consciousness is omniscient and omnipresent, seeing all, knowing all. Immerse yourself in the mystical interconnectedness that is cosmic consciousness. You have the potential to live in a completely different dimension of consciousness. Recognize that you previously operated within a narrow band of awareness, attuned to flashes of divine light within your soul. Let feelings of separation fall away. Embrace unity. You are here to experience cosmic consciousness. Transform your goals and seek a new direction. You have exceptionally clear sight right now. Strip to the bone as the old falls away. Do not despair. New light is infused. When you transform your awareness, humanity experiences a quantum shift. For healing insight, enlightenment can happen right now. You are a part of everything and everything is a part of you. The frequency of this stone is exceptionally high. For the chakra use, it's um, for the soul star and stellar gateway. Cleanses and activates all chakras. Timing is the present moment and for those with the soul path of becoming a new vessel for cosmic consciousness. So immediately for those of us who grew up Christian, I'm literally hearing, let them use you. Let them use you, okay? So I do feel, Scorpio, some of you guys, you may actually like your, your senses and your feels, your empathic abilities. For some of you all, most of y'all are empaths. Y'all psychic as fuck, okay? But I feel like for some of you all, you may be guided to assist people just out on your daily every day in the month of November. And I feel like there's a, this is not a time to doubt yourself okay again I see it's the element of let them use you let them use you some of you all I am picking up on a lot of shape shifting energy so again there's this sense of acknowledging accepting as well as being aware of your gifts okay but also just going with the flow of things instead of being in this space of the ego also, I'm also hearing in the space of a lack mindset and not believing a need to be more optimistic versus pessimistic, okay? You guys are conscious beings. Alright, so give me an angel message for my scorpions. Because it's their birthday. It's their birthday. Bad, bad contest. You in first place. Okay, you guys. You guys got Leo. Alright, some of you guys could be experiencing some type of changes around a Leo. This could have to do with some type of separation. This could also have to do with moving in or separating from one another, okay? I'm also picking up on some of you guys, you're being very, very heavily helped with some type of decision that you have to make via an ancestor. I'm picking up on an older lady. This and this lady could be an indigenous background, okay? I'm picking up on Indian or some type of Native American descent. I'm also picking up on this individual cuss like a sailor and smoke more weed than a little bit. This could also be someone who is of like Creole background. Also a little, uh, there could be like, this person could be indigenous or some of you guys could be Native American and Haitian is what I'm picking up on. But this, okay, so whoever I'm picking up on, this is this this came with the disrespect of the ancestor also. Clean her shit up and bring her some weed. All right, I'm sorry. I had to let her, thank you. Thank you. Y'all, she don't play. Some of y'all got whole spiritual goons out here and y'all playing. Being not confident to step in your purpose. I don't know if that's going to work. What if they judge me? What shit? Listen, do, do they pay your bills? Or they fucking feeding, financing you? Are you going to let them determine how you move when it comes to your purpose? Some people move by sight and believe in what they can see. And some people trust in their vision. And we still talk about them people today and teach our children about them people. This is spirit giving you the opportunity to become one of them people in the goddamn books. Fuck what people said. Alright? You guys got nurture. Archangel Gabriel. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. 
both activities are important important for you right now okay I'm picking up your gifts okay this could also be nurturing some type of practical plan some of you all also have a um, have a life path around children some of you all I'm also picking up on adoption some type of adoption going smoothly this could also have to do with nurturing yourself and stop worrying about some type of custody cases what I'm hearing custody some of y'all someone could be fighting you for your damn children and this person has no interest in the children this person is literally trying to cause chaos in your world I feel like there's a need for you to stay grounded and literally separate because some of you all you're you're a you're a psychic sponge at this time there's a need for you all to really be able to discern your emotions and someone else's because I feel a lot of projective energy on you this could even be parents talking to you or trying to throw shade about your parents and skills spirit really wants you to nurture yourself nurture your peace and protect your sacred space there's also a need to create a sacred space but for some of you all who are going through some type of separation or some type of disputes around children I am hearing it's going to work in your favor but this is testing your peace your patience and your ability to persevere and keep going with focusing on the big picture which is why this is happening because you're walking into your destiny baby and some people's purpose in life is to block your purpose okay you, the last thing you guys got hello from heaven Archangel Azrael your loved ones in heaven are doing fine let go of worries and feel their loving blessings, okay? I am hearing a dad. Someone could be mourning a dad or a grandfather who could have passed within the net, within the last um, six weeks, six months, six years. I am picking up on um, someone also opening up and going to therapy or, or, or needing to express something, okay? They could also could have been... Someone feels as if they lost their best friend around a, matri a matri matriarchal figure. Um, I'm sorry, a patriarchal figure. This could be a father, a grandfather. This could could even be a best friend but I feel like someone is really focused on loss and they can't move forward I feel like there's gonna be a lot of healing a lot of healing work that's gonna be done so some of you all Scorpios may be very secluded right now please take the time that you need to nurture yourself in order for you to heal but your loved ones in heaven want you to know that that you're safe that they're doing just fine and they want you to release them hold them in love but release the burdens and the worries around the stillness when it comes to how you haven't been able to move forward some of you all have gifts you're mediums and you're not you're stressing over why you can't connect with this individual who you want because you want it too bad allow it to come to you okay my babies and for those of you who have recently lost someone my condolences to you i'm also i hate to predict death but i see it here some of you also could be i'm here in prep and prepare so some of you could also uh, be in the space there could be a mother figure that i'm picking up for some of you all or a grandmother figure that could be sick at this time some of you all could be taking care of this person or there could be a lot of fights around around how this change is going to affect people some of you all are needing to be calm because i feel like there's a lot of petty fights around someone who's ill and people these people are fighting around money and possessions and assets there's a need for you to trust yourself and trust what you feel when you get around this individual and get some type of closure now especially if there has been disputes with this individual in the past or some type of un, uh, unresolved or unfinished business okay or some type of um, unbalanced emotion around this okay because I am picking up on someone possibly uh, growing up in an environment with the mother who really wasn't there for them this mother has returned back into their life and they forgive their mother but this mother being there is triggering a lot of childhood wounds especially around sexual abuse and mental and emotional abuse y'all we're not gonna cry today okay but there's a need for you all to nurture yourself forgive forgive your mom forgive the person who did this forgive yourself because a lot of you all are holding a lot of heaviness on your chest. And Spirit is really asking you, come on, Scorpio, baby, give it to me. Give it to me. It's not your, it's, it's not your place to be sitting here stressed about, you know, you putting yourself in a better situation which may affect other people. But somebody has to look out for self. Some of you all are stressed about being stressed. And Spirit is saying, let me have it in the month of November, okay? Alright, so let's jump into the tarot, honey. Okay? See what spirit has for my Scorpions for the month of November. Scorpio, some of my Uranus, Cross Watcher. <clears throat> Scorpio, I immediately, I'm starting here uh, again. Fantasia Barino, she came back. Um, the part of me won't you, part of me don't, part of me is missing you, part of me is strong, part of me is saying that the love is still strong. Part of me is letting go, so even though I left you, I can't forget.
forget you Cause when I think about you It's bittersweet It's bittersweet Yes, I'll always love you Okay, some of y'all could be dealing with the cancer Again I feel like someone feels smothered In a relationship, in a job in a home environment, someone feels smothered. Someone feels that they don't have the, the ability to express themselves freely as they like. Okay. I'm also picking up on someone being caught in between, caught in between making the meat decision and the weed decision, which is very stressful, possibly involving a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I see it a, a lot of love here in the situation. For some of you all, this has to do with having a conversation around fulfillment, what it is that you desire, and renewing a relationship, or if it's safe to renew a relationship, because some of y'all are dealing with a situation where someone is literally very karmic to you. This person, you and this person shared a past life connection, okay? Someone possibly has to choose between a solid commitment, but in this commitment, I don't feel like it's solid when it comes to security and stability, but are you happy, okay? Do you see this being something that you can grow from? Can you build with this individual? Some of you all have to possibly choose between a Sagittarius and a Cancer. Some of you all also may be in this space of moving. Yeah. Some of y'all are questioning is it safe to move forward with a Cancer or a Sagittarius? For others of you, this has to do. Some of y'all manifested. Okay. So some of you guys could have manifested a situation when it comes to. Um, I'm also hearing surrender. Some of you guys could have previously surrendered. The shoe is going to fall where it may. I'm done trying to control the situation. And someone could be um, involved in a third party who could be someone who's a Sagittarius or another water sign. Okay. Someone could also be an Aries. All right. But I feel like a cycle is ending in order for you to move toward the life in which you've been burning them down, rolled open the candles. Okay. In which you've been drawing them down, protection sigils. Okay. In which you've been fucking. Um, using that damn sexual energy um, as a form of creativity for okay I definitely feel like there's a door opening but in order for one to completely open one has to um, entirely close and I feel like there's a lot of stresses around that even though you can see the big picture your finish is like right in front of you but I feel like there's this big ass boulder that you having a hard time with moving even though you got superpowers laser superpowers you got the, the fucking eye laser superpowers you can fucking burn that shit the fuck out of your way but I feel like for some of you all you're being a slave to your loyalty some of you are also, yeah, a cycle could be coming to an end around an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this person could actually be triggering things in which you need to heal deep within you. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo, a, another Scorpio, a um, Aquarius, or a Taurus, and I feel like you're in your head around ending this situation. I'm also hearing someone could be threatening you seeing your children if you move forward with another individual, okay? There's one in particular individual that someone just cannot stand seeing you with, okay? This could be a fire sign, Aries Leo Sash. This could also be a water sign, all right? Somebody wants to reconcile with you, though, Scorpio, and you pumping the brakes on that shit because you don't trust this motherfucker as far as you can throw them. And for some of y'all, this person is pleasantly plump, so you can't throw their ass far, all right? No shade on the pleasantly plump because we fine out here boom you understand me all right we ain't finna get mad that's for another video we magical as fuck out here pleasantly plump it's our season it's cold out here baby okay so listen some of you are also yeah some of you all are stressing about investing in the situation because you have children with this individual but this person time and time again shows you that they're emotionally that they're financially immature someone here is literally a motherfucking liability for business honey you also dealing with someone who you could be someone who is a creator someone who is in the public eye or you have a faded destiny in order to be that okay you have a, a faded destiny um that puts you in the public eye. You could be an artist. And some of you all, you're dealing with a person who don't have their own thing. So this individual tries to block every opportunity. They try to block you every chance that they, that you, I feel like some of y'all is literally sleeping with a damn energy vampire, okay? Some of you all, this could be being revealed to you in your dreams. And I feel like there's this element of knowing but not wanting to see, okay? Some of you all also may be choosing to um, make some type of grounded decision when it comes to collaborating with an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. This could also be length things to rest in order to start something new with an earth sign Capricorn towards Virgo but some of you all this has to do with where you invest your money I am hearing um I'm seeing eyelashes in here so some of you guys could definitely be invested in the beauty industry I'm also picking on picking up on um artistry okay some of you guys could be painters some of you all also could be someone who um you're figuring out how to share your work but it comes with 
it comes with you compromising elements of the self and opening up and trusting people. Yes, bitch. I said the T word. Trust. Say it with me now, okay? Trust. I feel like this is, this is yeah, this is the need to heal. All right. If you're dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you on the fence about this, especially because I feel like for some of you all, this could be you don't see growth, and some of you all, there's love right in front of you, but you still holding on to harbored emotions involving an ex. And spirit is saying, "Give it to me, baby. Give it to me. Give it to me, so I can, so you can clearly see heavenly love. You can clearly see this divine love that I've set right in front of you." But you're not going to come into this shit with no disorder. We're not coming into third party relationships. Some of you guys are finding out that a child was actually produced regarding a third party relationship. Possibly regarding a Leo, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone also got a spouse that has a baby mama that's trying to manipulate their way back in to cause chaos between you. With saying that you're mistreating their children. They could also be manipulating the children to say this. I, this, is, this is bullshit. Okay? Yeah, some of you all are done putting in a relationship. You're done investing in a relationship, possibly with someone who is a Capricorn. I'm also seeing if you're dealing with a Virgo, you feel as if you don't. Some of y'all dealing with a Virgo who drink too damn much. This could also be your person that's dodging a Virgo who drink too much. Someone's trying to cause chaos in your relationship. And for some of you all, I am hearing mother-in-law, okay, monster-in-law. Some of you all also, there's some type of rumor that's being cleared up. I feel like there's some type of Put some respect on your name, Scorpio. Someone could have caused an ugly rumor regard about you to keep you in this space of not being attractive to other people. Someone could also, some y'all are dealing with a very emotionally abusive situation where someone tells you that you ain't shit, and some of you all are coming out of the place of believing this motherfucker. Some of you all definitely could be cutting off a Virgo or setting your boundaries with this individual because I feel like someone tries to force themselves in your space. And someone feeling some type of way because you're focused on creative endeavors. You're focusing on flourishing and this person is focusing on love. And for some of y'all, you're not in that space. You want this big ass fucking coin because it's actually going to attract this big ass cup. You walking in your purpose. Some of my Scorpios are saying, fuck the R word. Reconciliate with who, bitch? I'm reconciling with my shmoney bag. I'm reconciling. I'm reconciling with my shmoney. I'm reconciling with my soul. Fuck these hoes. Fuck these dudes, man. I know what I'm worth. And I'm going to move only towards things that are in alignment with what the fuck I want. And some of y'all, by you choosing to move like this, there is a reconciliation with someone who you have a child with. But I feel like you guys are going to come together and there's going to be inner conflict. Because your damn confidence is causing someone else to, to, to actually see their bullshit. I feel like someone has an issue with letting go and someone got real comfortable with who you were. But some of you all are showing people through your actions. You're saying less but doing a whole lot more behind the fucking scenes to show people either get your shit together or I'm out of here. Or you can fucking beat it. Alright? So let's get it. Let's give Scorpio some advice. Scorpio, someone here needs to forgive their mother as well. Someone feels as if their mother abandoned them. Or their mother chose some type of marriage or chose another family. Um... You could have brothers and sisters or siblings outside of um, your mother and father's marriage. But I feel like there's conflict between children because someone here needs to forgive their mother. Alright, so give me some advice for Scorpio. Yeah, reconciliation, celebration. For Scorpios, I am here in graduation initiates. Okay, so some of you guys could be uh, getting positive news around graduation. Congratulations, boo. Okay, and for some of you all, this also has to do with some type of initiation. Some of you guys are voodoo priestesses, voodoo priests. I feel like there has been a lot of, um, a lot of esoteric study. A lot of digging deep into cosmic consciousness. And I feel like for some of you all, you're executing some type of business plan. And you're going to bring this into fruition. Because for some of you all, you have a life purpose that involves you teaching other people. Or assisting other people when it comes to their healing. Okay? For some of you all, I'm also picking up on some type of reconciliation. Possibly with a family member, a mother, a sister. This could also be a friend who you haven't spoken with. I feel like some of you guys are definitely doing a lot of reconciling for closure. And I'm also picking up on, yeah... Some of you guys are coming together for a, coming to some type of amicable decision around a co-parenting situation because someone feels as if they just want to be on the inside. They want to be in the damn loop. They're tired of not having access to you, Scorpio. And I feel like someone who was very resistant, very narcissistic. I am hearing gaslighting who'd have been who could have been very narcissistic in the past. Someone just doesn't want to be left out. 
Someone also throws shade at you, but this individual is learning through you. And I feel like this individual, they're intimidated by your strength, but I feel like this individual, no matter how much shade they throw, they see a lot of the self in which they wish to reach or the self in which they, they, in, in which they wish they could have reached into you. So don't let these people project their bullshit and their nastiness into your spirit. Spirit is saying, build, baby. Once you know better, you do better. And this is becoming aware to respond and know how to release that a bit differently when you just accept the fact that you can't change who people are. But it doesn't mean that you have to allow yourself to accept trash when you're the motherfucking empress. Period. So it's, it's closing doors and ending things in a healthy way. And transmuting that energy, turning your pain into your power and flourishing from that shit. Experience is life's greatest teacher. That exudes wisdom. Okay? So you guys, definitely leave in the comments how this resonated, you guys. I look forward to speaking with you all for the mid-month of November or shit, December, however the hell we coming. Because y'all know how I give it up and I'm honest, okay? So without further ado, you guys, I'm going to leave it here. I send you all peace, love, light, many blessings, prosperity, as well as healing, Scorpio. It's time to heal. But don't stay there. Feel. Alright? Love y'all.